Our dear students, today we are solving the QR or engineering section for ISI 2024. Uh, here, a gas contained in a cylinder filled with frictionless piston expands against the constant external pressure of one atmosphere. The unit with respect to the volume five hundred joule determine the change of internal energy in the system in joule. Okay, so for a gas contained uh, in a cylinder with a frictionless piston expanding against uh, this, so the work done uh, during the expansion is P del V equal to 1 ADM into 10 liters minus 5 liters into 101.3 joules per liter ADM. Okay. This will give you 506.5 joules. So the change of internal energy system is Q minus W. That is 400 minus 506.5. That is minus 106.5 joules. Okay, so therefore internal energy of the system decreases by 106.5. Change is actually false. 7B is uh, sketch the device energy interaction. So here. So directly you can go for uh, uh, the freezer operates by removing the heat from the cold interior space of the rejection into so the work input you can do it and the coefficient of performance which is COP here is Q cold by this thing. The COP is 9 if 1 units of work so 9 units of heat will get out the freezer can maintain a temperature below freezing that is 0 degree centigrade as long as the heat removal rate exceeds the heat gain rate from the surroundings okay so the weather room temperature at uh, 32 degree centigrade uh, the freezer will be able to remove enough heat to keep the interior below freezing allowing ice cubes to remain frozen okay so next is um, an apparatus that liquefies helium is in a laboratory of 296 Kelvin and the helium apparatus in a 4K and 150 MJ is the heat transferred from the helium. So the minimum amount of heat delivered to the laboratory. So the liquefies helium at 4.2K okay, with 4150 kg heat transfer from the helium. So the latent heat vaporization of the helium is 4.2K approximately is around which is uh, 20.8 uh, kg kilojoule per mole. Okay, so this is the part and the last part is uh, for a circular disc of radius R mass 9M. A small disc of radius R by 3 in contact with the periphery and the circular disc in radius R is removed. Find the moment of inertia here and the center of the disc. So here uh, let I0 be the initial moment here. So I0 is half 9m into R squared for a solid disc about its center and after removing the small disc. The remaining disc has a central hole of radius r so the moment of inertia is i equal to i0 minus i small this value that is half 9 m r square minus half m small r square okay so it you can take half common 8 m r square okay so the ratio of the final uh, to initial moment of inertia is i by i0 is 8 m r square 9m r square that is 8 by 9 so therefore the moment of inertia of the remaining disk about the given axis is 8 by 9 times of the initial moment of inertia of the full disk 